In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Mother Goose Club character cupcakes, which are great for kids' birthday parties. <laughs> Today, I'm going to make Eep, Teddy, and Baba cupcakes. The materials you need are vanilla and chocolate cupcakes, chocolate and vanilla frosting, vanilla wafer cookies, assorted candies for ears and bows, food coloring, a pint-sized glass, a knife, a spoon, spatula, scissors, and baggies in gallon and sandwich sizes. Let's start with our Eat the Mouse Cupcake. I used a store-bought vanilla frosting that I added one teaspoon of blue food coloring to and whisked. You could also use a homemade buttercream. Now take your large plastic baggie and put one corner down in the bottom of your cup. Fold the bag open over the edges of the cup. Now scoop in your blue frosting until it's full. Now lift your bag out, squeeze out the air, and zip the bag shut. Squeeze the frosting down to the bottom corner of the bag. and then snip the end off. Now you have a piping bag. Starting on the edge of the cupcake, squeeze gently in a spiral motion until you reach the center of the cupcake. To make the face, I filled two baggies, one with black frosting and one with white frosting. Put a vanilla wafer cookie on your counter. Using your black frosting, Draw little eyebrows, eyes, a nose, and a mouth. This may take a couple of practice cookies. And use your white to add a little sparkle to his eye. Now take your cookie and place it in the center of your cupcake. To make the ears, cut a chocolate circle in half and place them where Eep's ears would go. Now trace over the chocolate with your blue frosting. and finish them with two blue candies. And there's Eep. For Teddy, I'm using a chocolate cupcake. I filled a bag with chocolate frosting like I did for Eep. And we start at the edge and work our way to the center. Then we place our cookie face and our chocolate circle ears. Trace over the ears with the chocolate frosting. For her special bow, I'll add two blue candy-covered chocolates. And there's Teddy. Now let's make Baba. For Baba, I'm using a vanilla cupcake and vanilla frosting that I added eight drops of red and two drops of blue into. We're gonna start by making a series of dots around the edge of the cupcake. Then using your spoon, smear each dot towards the center of the cupcake. Now we're going to make a second row of dots, just like the first. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's add our cookie face. And two purple chocolate covered candies for ears. And there's Baba. You can also simply spread the frosting on using a spreader like this, but a regular butter knife will also work. Then add your cookie face and your chocolate candies, and it's just as cute. These cupcakes are the perfect birthday party treat for your little Mother Goose Club fan. Share photos of the Mother Goose Club goodies you make at home by hashtagging Mother Goose Club on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type in comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Today we're making ABC cookies. It's a fun and tasty opportunity for you to connect with your kids and work on some of those early developmental skills. Cookies! Yes, cookies! Cookie. We made it through the cookie. cookie. Now is the time to use your silence. 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 So let's roll our sleeves up and get right to it. Butter, sugar, egg, vanilla, flour, mixer, ABC cookie cutters, parchment paper, baking sheets, rolling pin, cookie icing, mixing bowls, measuring cups. All right, ladies, so we are going to make some cookies today, but before we need cookies, what do we need? stuff and to make the dough. Today we made ABC cookies. So we got all our ingredients together, we mixed them up, we made some dough. To make cookies, what's the one thing we need? We need to make the dough. We gotta make the dough, so we're gonna make the dough. Today we have some butter, some sugar, some eggs, some flour, but first we gotta start off with the butter and the sugar. So lemon, there's some butter. Isla, there's some sugar. sugar. Now, lemon, you put the, put the butter in there. Don't get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Isla, get that sugar over there. I'll put it in a hole, though. Make sure you get it in there. You got space. Yeah, man. Whoa! That's where the sweet comes from. All right, so here we go. Ready? Uno, dos, three. Wow. Whoa. Okay. All right. We got to get it to creamy, okay? So we're going to let it whip for a little bit longer. It's cool part, you have a little machine to do this for you. If you don't have a machine, then you can just take a spoon or whatever you have and whip it with your hands. I want you to take the first step and, and commit that egg. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You hear that plop? You hear that egg plop? Yeah, that's what we're after right there. Go ahead and get all the all the egg white. Why don't you go ahead and hit that? And what you gotta do? We gotta really, really. Vanilla smells like cinnamon. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, good job, Lynn. <laughs> nice with the touch. Good job. All right, now Isla. Wait, wait. No, wait. I gotta come down here, Isla. I want you to hit the switch. All right. There you go. Yeah, you get to use that muscle. That's right. Now show the camera your muscles. Show the camera your muscles. Yeah, show. Look at the camera. Show them. Let them know. Hey, there you go. You gotta have some muscles. Can I turn it on? No, don't touch anything. Can I turn it on? Uh, no, because it's actually sort of hard to do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it with my muscles. Yeah, hey, see if you can hit that too. There you go. Yeah, hit it, girl. Hit it one more. One more. One more. Let's whip it. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Look over and see if it looks good, Isla. Ooh. Does it look like? Does it look all right? It's like really yellow. It looks, yeah. yeah. It looks like egg. The it's egg is turning like into dough. Oh, it's looking like dough. It's starting to dough up. It smells good. Yes. Yes. You know, your butter, sugar, and vanilla you make mm. much magic. Then we rolled that dough, cut some cookies out of it, put them in the oven, then we decorated them. So we gotta pull out our dough, and we're gonna roll. Yeah, dough. roll it. Are you ready? Like a coffee. Are you guys ready to roll some dough? Yeah! Yeah! All right, let's get it. You rolling it out. Roll that thing out, girl. You're doing a good job. All right, Lynn, you wanna roll it a little bit? All right, give it a shot. Hey, Lynn, look at those muscles. <laughs> <laughs> so now comes the time where we, we have to, to cut. we have to do some cookie cutting. To do some cookie cutting, we have all of your cookie cutters all right here. So you can only cut the cookie if you can nail. Tell me what the letter is. That is what these. Uh, listen, 
You're not far off. This is the letter Z. We're dealing letters. These are all letters. I'll give you that, that hint, okay? A. That is the letter A. Cut a cookie. And what letter? C. What letter is that? C. 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 Z. Z. A great job cutting cookies, ladies. And go ahead and press it down. Press it down hard. Use those, use those gymnastics muscles. Show, show them your muscle face. Show them your muscle face. Aw, oh, Lynn, that wasn't a muscle face. <laughs> and you got your Z, boom, like that. Excellent. Tell them what the L is for. Later. Yeah, that's right, girl. Good job. I want you to find a three-letter word. You gotta spell a word for me, okay? Okay. That G out of there. That girl. You may have to stand up a little bit. Put some weight on it. Or you might, and if you have difficulty, you can also tap it, tap it around, like pound, give it a little pound. There you go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? I could give you some. I'm gonna give you a tool for the bad. I think you got. I think you got. Yeah, I think you got a clean cut that time. That a girl. Nice. And Isla, you have a do a two a for Isla and apple. Do a two a. And so, yeah, two. We have two do a's. So what do we have? We have a a n g t o l e z. Perfect. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna go put these in the oven. Come on, let's go. And the cookies are cooked. And they're cool, just to let everybody know. Now, which color do you want? You have a red and a green left. I want the green. The green? I got All right, the grab, grab the green. I'll grab, a, I'll grab a red. This activity actually goes beyond literacy as it focuses on fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. All right, what are you making with yours, Isla? I'm just gonna outline it. Oh, nice, that's a good idea. Then, I didn't like those cookies because there was so um, a lot of sprinkles on them. Can we do another one? <laughs> yeah, of course we can. Let's finish the one we do it first. Let's see. I'm done. You you're done? Yeah. Here. Yeah. And that's awesome. And let's see what else. Get going, and then you got some craziness going on. Yeah, you got the ketchup. You got the ketchup looking icy. ABC Cookies is an activity that engages all five of your kids' senses and gives them the opportunity to engage in some educational and delicious play. Now's the moment we've been waiting for. It's time to eat the cookies. Eat the cookies. You can eat one. Eat the cookies. Mmm. -hmm. So was it worth all the work? Uh huh. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good, enjoy your cookie. It's a great opportunity to connect, and like I said, it tastes delicious. I'm gonna show you how to make ABC sugar cookies. All you need is some butter, sugar, one egg, vanilla extract, and flour. First, you're gonna start off by adding the sugar along with room temperature butter. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use an electric hand mixer or just really go for it manually. You're going to cream that butter and sugar together for about two minutes until it's light and fluffy. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the edges of the bowl. Next up, I'm going to add that one egg and the vanilla extract. And you're going to beat that together until fully incorporated. And last but not least, I'm going to add the flour. And you're going to mix this together on low speed don't want to overmix the flour into the dough. Now we're gonna transfer our dough into some plastic wrap to chill it. It's important that you chill your dough because if your dough is too warm, your cookies are going to spread really thin in the oven and they won't hold their shape. So notice how the dough is coming out a little bit crumbly. That's actually good. That means we haven't overmixed our dough. I'm just gonna take some of my clean hands and just kind of form it into a ball. We have one cohesive piece of dough. Press that into a disc, wrap it up in plastic. We're gonna chill that in the fridge for at least two to three hours. Let's preheat our oven to 375 degrees. I'm just gonna take some flour and flour my clean surface. That way when we're rolling it out, the dough won't stick and start rolling out. We've rolled it out now to about a fourth of an inch thickness and we'll start cutting out the cookies. So I have some alphabet cookie cutters and you're gonna pop that in the oven and bake it for seven minutes. So my cookies are out of the oven. They have fully come to room temperature. And now it's time to decorate. Really get creative. There's no right or wrong with how to do this. Let that icing dry and you'll end up with a creation like this. So have fun and enjoy. Today we have another colorful and creative way to prompt some early literacy play with your kids. 
We've got a few materials here that we've gathered for this activity, but the materials are just the beginning. We're pretty sure you're gonna laugh, pretty sure you're gonna learn. So let's get crafty and let the learning begin. So for today's activity, we used a wide range of materials. We used construction paper, we used pipe cleaners, glue, Play-Doh, cardboard, and felt. And we even used some ornamental decorative pom-poms. You're really just gonna do some twisting and turning and some clipping where needed. Okay, do you say Q? You're gonna make Q! Q! Uh, which one are you gonna make again? K. K, interesting. I see. I see you. I'm making a K. That is a pink. You know that's pink, right? Yeah, I like pink and purple. I will see if you can spell the word. It's symmetry. Because it's the same. If we cut it in half, it's the same. Nice, that's right. Oh. What other words can you spell with an O and an X? Do you, you have any ideas? Box! There you go, box. Oh, you know what? We need. Are there any? Do we do we move the L around? Did you grab the L? I can we need one. L. Make 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 you. Oh, you're in a big L. Nice. Look <laughs> look. I was kind enough to make you an L. So let's make let's spell you. Can we spell your name? L. Look, you have an E. L. You want to make another L? Make it. Go for it. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Let's see what, let's see what you can do. Go ahead, Justin. You just got to do it like this. You just put a little crick in it. Put the little put a little notch in it, right? Okay. Almost. <laughs> very, very, very close. That's a V. Very, very close. But it might be a more of a V. But let's try to spell your name. Let's see. L E J N N. A oh, where's that O we made? Here. You put the O right there. Put the O at the end of those N's. Mm. Put it right there. I thought of another name. Linen! Linen, that's your name, baby girl. L E N N O N. The next set of materials that we've gathered for our letter play are the marker, construction paper, and some Play-Doh. We're gonna make a letter. B for Brandon. All right, great job getting the Play-Doh, guys. All right, let's open up the Play-Doh and see what we got inside. There are a couple of different ways you could do this. Now, you could take those and you could actually trace over them. Like I did a couple over here. I don't know what happened. Check this out. Did a couple over here and you can put them right on top. So that's the letter C. So what you would do is you get the Play-Doh and you see if you yeah. put it right on top. Alright, so so you have the letter C there. Can you say this? Can you say C? C! Alright. And what sounds the letter C make? What sounds it make? <laughs> can you say can you say can you say <laughs> There you go. Good job. Alright. E. Here. You wanna move on to the next one? Yeah. Here, you can I don't do this one. You wanna do the E? Okay, good. Now here's what we do. Like Isla, check this out. What I was saying is that maybe if you like put it down and then you can just sort of manipulate uh, it from there. If you put the I these right here, there you go. A pretzel. Oh nice! I you made put, a put twist the, pretzel! Ooh, and you put some put the salt on it and everything. Okay. But that's the letter D. D. One more way that you can explore your letter learning. We have a few of these fluffy balls here. We have some glue. We have some cardboard and cardboard letter cutouts. And we have some felt. The whole goal is to take this and end up with something that looks more like this. We are going to take these felt pieces and we're going to decorate our letters. Okay, we have pipe cleaners on this too. So we can do a combination of different things and then we can top, we can put these on them or whatever we want to do. So, have at it ladies. A green one. Yeah. So put the glue right there and then we'll wrap it. I'm gonna spread it out with this little stick right here. I think that's what it's for, so we can manipulate the glue without using our fingers. No, so yeah. Here, put, put it down, put it down. Use your fingers, there you go. And then, when you get ready, you can move on. You're gonna do the purple piece, okay? Actually, you know what, at this point, you might need to start wrapping your A's like on the inside. Does that make sense? Yeah, press it down there yeah. a little bit and let it you know, let it dry as best you can. Yeah! Yeah, bam, exactly. I'm putting fluff on my little L. Put, maybe put a little bit more. That is tight. the wall. This is a little A for I. This is a little L for 
So we engage in the crafts as we always do with an emphasis on early literacy development. So with Lennon, we really spend a lot of time working on letter recognition. With Isla, we spend a little more time working on words and spelling. The girls had a whole lot of fun reaction today. And a lot of that comes from the engagement with the activity, the engagement with the crafts. That led to us having some real opportunities to connect, as well as them having good memories surrounding their learning experience. So during this video, we've offered you a few suggestions about how you can use a wide variety of different materials to create early literacy play, and in this particular instance, creating letters. The possibilities are literally endless. You can look around your house, find things that you may have that we didn't even think of, and use your imagination. And I guarantee you, if you use your imagination, your kids will start to use their imagination. You'll have a great time, and you'll learn a lot. Hi, I'm Kira, and this is Carolyn. She's my babysitter and also my friend. <laughs> We're going on a letter hunt at the flea market. Yes, we are. Before kids can learn how to read, they need to be able to recognize letters and relate them to the sounds they make. So when we're out and about, we like to do fun things like letter hunts <laughs> to work on letter sounds. We'll show you how. <laughs> All right, Kira, let's hunt for letters. Look, there's letters on that sign. Oh, yeah. What letters do you see? E and N and T. Awesome. Do you know what word that is? Let's sound it out together. Enter. Enter. Awesome. All right, Kira, let's go inside and look for more letters. Look, there's a huge S. Whoa, that is a huge S. When you find a letter, try to think of a fun way to talk about the sound it makes. Hey, Kira, what sound does an S make? That's right. Can you think of an animal that starts with the letter S? Snake. That's right. How about skunk? Seal. Seal, good job. Let's go find more letters. D. Awesome. What sound does a D make? D. D, that's right. What's that? Door. Door. All right, let's see if there are any other letters in here. P. P, that's right. What sound does a P make? What fruit is that? Pear. Pear. Do you know any other fruit that starts with P? Pineapple. Pineapple. I love pineapple. So good. Anything else? What about a peach? <laughs> peach. Perfect. Look, another P. You're right. That is another P. Do you know what that says? Let's sound it out together. Pick. 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 Up. Your. your toys. toys. Yes. Good job. You're so smart. Kara, let's go find some more letters. Let's go. <laughs> look. There's letters on the snow globe. Oh, yeah. Let's look at this one. What letter is that? L. L. That's right. What sound does an L make? Oh. Oh. Right. What other letters do you see on here? An O, an N, a D, an O, and an N. You are so smart, Kira. What word does that spell? London. London. <laughs> right. Give me five. You are so awesome. So let's go find more letters. <laughs> w. <laughs> That's right. Can you think of some words that start with W? Water. Water. Why. Why. What else? Walrus. Walrus. What about whiskers? <laughs> whiskers. That's right. You are so smart. Letters are everywhere. I know. When kids realize that letters are all over the place and not just in storybooks, they begin to understand just how important they really are. Whoa, look at all those letters. What letters do you see? I see a B. A B? What about that? A. A. And I see a P. A P. And an N. And an N. You are so smart.
smart, girlfriend. What letter is this, Kara? M. What sound does an M make? Mmm. Mmm. I see a letter. This is my favorite letter. C. C. C for Carolyn. You pick a letter. K. K. K for Kira. Yeah. <laughs> what sound does the K make? K. Oh. Just like a C. Just like a C. Go on a letter hunt with the kids in your life and let us know how it goes by hashtagging Mother Goose Club on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type any comments into the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about our new videos. Because I love ducks, <laughs> I love puppies. <laughs> if your child is learning their ABCs, making the alphabet out of Play-Doh or modeling clay is a great activity to help them learn. It's fun and easy. I'll show you how. To make our Play-Doh alphabet, you need Play-Doh and some tools. You can buy Play-Doh tools at a toy store or you can use things lying around the house. You need a smooth surface to work on, a hard rolling tool like a can or a jar, a plastic knife to cut with, and then you can use whatever objects you find around your house that might make an interesting texture or shape in your Play-Doh. Let's start with blue and make a letter A. Using both of my hands to apply even pressure, I'm going to roll the Play-Doh out into a rope. Once it gets as long as I'd like it, I'm going to trim off the end, here and here. Fold this like that, trim off this, and there's our A. For B, let's try something a little different. We're gonna roll our dough out flat using the side of our jar. Flipping it over as you go so that you get a nice and even pancake. Now I'm gonna use my can to cut out two circles. Put them in the middle like this. And then for the rest of my pancake, I'm going to cut out a long line like this and set it along the sides of my circles. Now to make it look more like a B, I'll use my bottle cap to cut out the center of each. Hey, bottle cap starts with B. And there we have our blue B. C is next. To make the C, I'm going to do another rope with purple. Rolling it out, nice and even. Trim off one end. And there's a C. But it's not that interesting, so I'm gonna use my knife to add little lines. C. Now to make the D, I'm gonna flip over my C and take some more of my rope I just made and put it on the end. To make it more interesting, I'm gonna add some dots with the back of my pencil. D for dots. D. For E, I'm gonna use purple again. And roll it out flat. Then I'm gonna use my knife to cut two equal strips. And I'll trim up the ends to make them neat. And I put one here and cut the other into three parts. There's your E. Take away the bottom and you have your F. For G, let's use green. I'll make a nice long rope again.
curve it up, put the end in like that, and there's your G. For H, let's use our green to roll out a nice big pancake. And this time I want to add some texture, so I'm going to use one of my cans to roll ridges along it. Then using my knife, I'm going to cut a rectangle. Then I'll cut out the top and the bottom, and there's our H. For I, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Now I'm going to roll up each little piece and make them into a ball. I start to form my letter I. And there's an I. The cool thing about the little balls is you can easily rearrange them to your next letter, J. Now K. So for K, I'm going to make a thicker rope than I've made before. Using my knife, I'll cut almost halfway down there and cut through the other side too. Flip it this way. Open up the legs, and there's our K. For L, let's do another flat piece. So first I'll make my long rope. Then I'm going to roll down with my jar, smoothing it out as I go. Trim off the end, cut a short piece, then a longer piece. L for longer. Put them both together, and there's our L. I'm going to use a chopstick to add lines. Line starts with L. Okay, M, M, M. Let's start with a mound, like the letter M for mound, and roll it into almost like a triangle until it starts to look like a little bit of a mountain. Now we're going to trim off the sides, cut down the middle, and there's our M and all its beautiful mountains. Next up is N. Let's stretch out a piece of rope, nice and long. Just make an N very simply, like that. To make our O, I'll use orange, and I'll roll it into the biggest pancake yet. I'll use my largest can to cut out a circle. Then I'll use my bottle cap to cut out the center. There's my O. For P, I'll cut a long strip from my leftover pancake and put it there. For Q, put a little strip in right there. There's our Q. For R, I'll cut the back of our circle off. We'll add a strip back in here and a little leg there. And there's our R. For S, I'm going to use green again and do something a little bit special. I'm going to roll out a rope but make it thin at one end and a little bit thicker at the other.
And this will help you remember your S, because it looks like a snake. For my T, I'm gonna use the green again, roll out another rope, trim the ends, and use my forks tines to put a little print in it or add texture, which also starts with T. All right, we're winding down. For you, let's take two long ropes and twist them together. Now I'm twisting them up. Turn them up like that, up like you. And there's our U. Now our last letters are kind of similar. So we're going to do them in a special way. Once again, we'll roll out a big pancake. This one happens to be pink. I'm gonna cut four equal length strips. First, let's make our V. There's our V. Then we add two more. There's our W. Now we take those two and flip them over. There's our X. And take one away. We have our Y. For our final letter, we use our strips again shape a Z. But let's make this Z something that kids can remember by giving it a little something extra. Let's give it stripes like a zebra. Z for zebra. And there we have it. That's our alphabet. Try making alphabet letters out of Play-Doh with your kids. Not only will they have fun, the hands-on activity will help them learn and remember their ABCs. Show me all the cool letters you make at home by hashtagging Mother Goose Club on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type in comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Today's activity is called Exploding Numbers. We're using simple things like stickers, paint, and other manipulatives to teach your child early math concepts. Manipulatives are simply something that children can use with their hands. It really builds those fine motor skills and allows them to really bring the mind and the body together. I'm gonna to show you how to make this a fun, simple math activity for your children. Silas, today we're gonna to do something called exploding numbers. We're gonna use paint, we're gonna use pom-poms. You ready? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Mm -hmm. This is a really simple craft that you probably already have all the materials on hand for. We get to do numbers. You like numbers, don't you? Wait, what do you want? Yeah. One, two, three again? You're right. Zero, one, two, and three. This is how we created our exploding numbers. First, we took a piece of paper and we just printed out some numbers on it. I cut them out so that Silas could attach them to a page. All right, so take your glue. I know. Oh, you know, huh? You're so smart. All right, put the glue all over that. Stick it anywhere you want on the page. You can add something like stickers. Simply ask them how many dots go along with each number. Now we're gonna put stickers. Stickles by the number. That's right, you need how many right here? One. And then? Lots of boys. Right here. Two. There you go. Okay. Now six. Six, what, what yeah, color do you want for six? Nine. This craft is a really great way to teach number sequencing as children get to recognize numbers and also how they flow in order. It also teaches subitizing, which is the recognition of looking at numbers in a set. So when they look at three stickers, they recognize immediately that there's three there. How many bright pinks do you have? Four. Let's count them. Four. 
right? Three. And how Four. many purples? Four. So how many purple and pink all together are there? How many do you have? Can I count all of them? Let's count just the pink and purple, and then you can count all of them if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're right, six. And then this is where your little one can really get their creative juices flowing. Put some paint simply on a plate for them, and then they can go to town. They can smear, they can blot, whatever they want to do to create their exploding numbers. Okay, you can paint. And you can either dab it on, or you can make streaks, whatever. You can experiment and do what you want. See on the outside, they painted all around the outside of the number. And if you paint the dot too, the dot will show up too. Ooh, I like that, Silas. What color do you want to add to it? Wait, I need a hmm. couple. Are you I can mix them. You can mix it if you want. You can experiment. Yeah. Just like they had orange and yellow. There you go. Ooh, I like that, Silas. Very creative. Why? Oh, yeah. Can I do number six? Wait, can I mix them? Sure. They could even use these pom-poms if they wanted to, to paint with. Then, you simply peel off the numbers, go from this side, and you have a beautiful piece of artwork. Look at your exploding numbers! Ah. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> Silas, you could see the little light bulbs going off in his head as he looked at the stickers and could count all the objects. Or when he saw the colors in the paint, he would go around and say, this color is this, and this is this color. Boy. Mm -hmm. Blue, blue, what is that? Hmm, what does it look Green, like? Green, yellow, and orange mix. It does look like a mix. He also started adding all the things together on the plate. He really had a lot of fun doing it. You can also take some pom-poms, which are really fun. Fun for little fingers to hold these and use those little fine motor skills. Have them put on the page, corresponding with each number. This is also a great way to teach your little one how to do some simple addition. See your squishy pom-poms over here? Yeah. Okay. How many pom-poms equal the number zero? Would you use any pom-poms? No, zero. Because it's nothing, right? Okay, so how many do we need for this number? One. All right, find a pom-pom. Oranges. Oh, you can use orange. How many do you have? Two. Two. And what number are you going to put them by? Two. Two. Good job. Ooh, very creative on each side of the number. Using manipulatives is a great way for children to connect the brain to the body. It's something that they can visualize so that they don't have to just think in their head about what you're speaking about, but they can actually see it as well. You can count it. Well, I think of it in my head. <laughs> Silas obviously had so much fun doing this activity. He especially loved painting as he got to choose what colors he got to paint on the numbers. So grab some paint, paper, and have fun with your child exploring numbers. Yay, look, look here, Silas. Cheese! Cheese! Today, we're going to show you a game we call ABC Slam Duck. It's a beanbag toss game that gives your kids an opportunity to work on some of those early literacy skills. So, let's get started. All right, guys, so we got some beanbags, we got some letters, and we have some words, and we're going to play a few games. You guys ready to play? Yeah. Alright, come on. Attach your letter or word cards to some bins, and then you call out a word or the letter, and then you give the kids a chance to throw the bean bags to the corresponding bin. Here. Oh, that's, bro, that's pretty good. <laughs> An example of how that might work is to say, hey, Lennon, take the red bean bag and throw it in the bin that has the L on it. So that gives her an opportunity to work on the primary colors as well as working on the letter recognition. Now we have our letter cards, we have our word cards, we have our sealable plastic bags, we have a bowl of beans, we have a pair of scissors, we have some tape, and we have several little felt patches. Oh, and we have some glue. So now we're gonna put all those things together to make our bean bags. So we're gonna start off by taking this bigger plastic bag and turning it into a smaller bag for the bean bags. Second cut. Now I'm gonna make a small bag of the Ziploc bag. I'll take my tape. Right there. And I'm gonna fold it over to make an edge. Take another strip here. Didn't have too much, just cut the ends off. Now I have an itty bitty bag 
for my itty bitty beans. Load these up. This actually might be fun for the kids to help you out with too. Now, take the bean bag and you place it over here in the center of your felt. Line that felt with glue. You can use a hot glue or a super glue or pretty much whatever you have around the house that'll work on fabric. You'll take your matching felt and you'll press it around the edges. Just be sure to allow this glue or any other glue to dry before you try to use the bags. In the end, your beanbag will look like this and you're ready to go. The cool part about these bean bags is that once you make them, you have them and you can use them for other activities as well. So you pick a letter, which, I... le which letter are you gonna pick? D. B, all right, let's give it to us. Let's see if she gets it. Let's see if she gets it. <gasps> oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, Lennon, it's your turn. It's like your turn, all right. What, what letter are you gonna try to toss yours into? She can get it. Yeah! <laughs> Girl, good job, all right. Okay, okay, I'm going right one more time. You hit it, you, you hit this, I know you can do it. After the kids get used to the letters and words on the bands, then you can sort of step it up a notch. You can start keeping score, or you can even have them step back a little bit further, see if you can get them more engaged, more excited. All right, cool, when I count to three, we're gonna jump right over into our spots, okay? Ready, one, two, three, let's get it. All right, okay, all right. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. You guys get to pick whichever bin you wanna throw it in. Lennon, since you're the youngest, you go ahead and pick which one you wanna try to toss it in. Get toss in. Oh, it's okay. Okay, give it a shot again. Give it another shot. Oh, that's a good shot. Hey, Island, now which one do you want to try? You know what? Try, try the, try for the L. Hit that, hit that L for your sister. Hit that L for Lennon. Oh, it's pretty close. Right, that's Keep going. Shoot, shoot the bag over. Let's see, see if we hit that L one. Yeah, there you go. Right, good job. Good job. Let me see your celebration dance. Can I hit it? Dance, not sing. There you go, good job. Let me see your celebration dance. <laughs> we're having a lot of fun, but we're also exercising some letter recognition and some word recognition as well. Yeah. So I changed up the letters, and now they are words. here. They're words, Ben. <laughs> Match it up. There you go, purple bag, purple linen. But we also got an opportunity to really work on some hand-eye coordination, which really went a long way, especially with Lennon, who was doing a great job, uh, really helped build her confidence. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You can always cheer for yourself. It's a good thing. All right, what, I, I, what are you shooting for right now? Uh, school. School, okay, all right. Oh, it's okay, here we go. Linen. Nice, good job. You can do it. Yeah, the first shot at a girl. Nice, at a girl. Oh, Ooh. nice. Look, today she had to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Today we're going to be using ABC floor mats to play and of course practice and build reading skills. This is another way for you to engage your kids and encourage them to stretch their minds and bodies and learn. There's so many different ways to use these floor mats. I'm going to show you a few right now. So let's get started. First activity we did with the mats was called ABC Roadway. We took the letters, we made a little road, and then we put a truck on that road. Inside the truck, we had a few different letters. With those letters, we pull those out, and then we drive the truck to the matching letter. What we gotta do is pull out a letter. So the letter N. So Lenny, we're gonna drive to the letter N. Show it to us so she will see what it looks like. Lenny, you see the letter? All right, keep it on the road, keep it on the road. And you're gonna pull it over there, and you're gonna stop when you see the letter N. There you go. Yeah. All right, good job. Stop right there. That's the letter M. Good job. Um, Pick up the card. Uh, H. H. F. Yeah. There's, a way. There's an H over here. Look, it's back over here at the beginning. What? That's where the truck started. <laughs> e. All right, so drive around, find, it. find the letter E. E. Ah, look. Yeah. Hey, look, it's the E. Look, it's E. Oh! <laughs> Uh, all right. Another O. Make another O. Yeah. Sweet. If you're having fun making O's, you keep making O's. For Lennon, it was more about letter recognition and celebrating the fact that you know she had hit the right letter. But for Isla, even when she drove the truck, once she got there, we really wanted to challenge her to come up with a word that began with the same letter that she had landed on. F is for fall. 
That's outside. This. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> The next activity we did was called ABC Twister. We spread out all the letters and let the girls really get active with this one. We call out a letter and they would place whatever hand or foot or body part they wanted to on the letter. Then we'd call out another letter and then that's where they really had an opportunity to stretch and we encouraged them to do so. That was a great way to engage their minds and their bodies and have a little fun. Okay, guess what? I have this deck of letters here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this deck of letters, I'm going to call them out, and then I want you guys to go and find them, okay? You guys ready? Let's start out with the letter B. The letter B, go find it. Alright? Now. B! Alright, okay, great. H. Ooh. You guys know the letter H? So you're, you're seeing you can reach with your foot, Isla. <laughs> nice, there you go. There you go. Alright, there you go. That's pretty good. G. You only have. Because look. Oh, look at these all. Need a pink. Oh man, you just need a little more leg and a little Wait, more. Wait, no, 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 no. What? Leg. Oh wow, wow. Well, almost. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. It's pretty good. The letter B for boy. You're a boy. I'm a boy. Another activity we did with the mass was to create an ABC hopscotch. Essentially, we brought the letters together and we put them in the shape of a hopscotch court. Then we gave them some bean bags, let them throw those out on whatever letter they chose. They call out the letter and then they hop right to it. So, Isla, you go ahead and give it a toss first and try to get one of those down there. Go on further ones. And when you guys, when it lands, when the bean bag lands, make sure you guys shout out the letter, okay? Let's give it a toss. All right, when it lands. Ew. On. You're supposed to go to the queue. <laughs> see, see what you land on. Toss the red one, see what you land on. All right, so on the C. You land on the C. Okay, so hop to it. See if you can hop, hop to the to the C. <laughs> it's on the C. All right, grab the bag and bring it back. Grab the bag and bring it back. Okay, my turn. All right, let it go. We can show you how to make those bean bags too. Check out the links below. Another activity we came up with was called ABC Dice. We took one die, made it out of vowels, we took the other two dice and made them out of consonants, then we rolled them on the floor to see what words we could come up with. This one right here has consonants on it, this one right here has consonants on it, and this one right here has vowels on it. You're gonna throw out a consonant, and then you're gonna throw out a vowel. You toss that one since you have it in your hand already. Throw out a vowel, and then you're gonna throw out a, another consonant, okay? Hip! You can make hip out of that. There you go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got. Uh, you have a P-Y-S. Alright, let's try Let's try it again. Boingy. Uh, okay. Mad! Mad, okay. A-D. Oh, there you go. You a nice hot toss. <laughs> There you go. You can, you can have dim. Mid. Mid. Let's see. Team. Bot. Bot. <laughs> there you go. Another, like another, real bot. That's right. We had a ton of activities that we were able to do with these mats, whether it was the ABC Dice or the ABC Roadway. They had a lot of fun doing them. Today with the ABC Dice game with Isla, we tried to make it a little more competitive by adding the ticking clock. And I would encourage you at home to even go a little bit further. If you have two readers that are on the same level, you might be able to push that competition a little bit further and even have more fun with the game. I would have been really interested to see what free play games the girls came up with, what structures they would have built, what words they might have spelled, and how they would have used the letters on their own. And I think there are a lot of opportunities for that, particularly with this exercise. These ABC floor mats are a great way for you and your kids to get your minds and your bodies moving, so go for it. Let the games begin. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.